So E3 just went by, and they announced a bunch of great games I am excited for, and lots of other people too. So, first thing, leave in the comments below, what game are you most excited for from E3? You know what, leave a list. Also, I won't be able to make as many videos as I would like to, because school is starting, and I'm starting a harder grade. Last year wasn't so hard, but this year I really need to try. And I have two math classes, because if you guys know me, then you know I'm not good at math at all. Math is like my least favorite subject, and it's my least subject I'm good at. So I'm going to have to work really hard to make sure I'm able to pass this grade. So that's why there won't be as much videos as I would like to post. But I'm going to try to keep as many as I can. So I'm going to make this right before I start school. So yeah, I'm going to be working real hard on this. But yeah, that's basically it. Also, I am sick. I've been sick, but I am much better now. It is really hot in my room right now. And talking is really making me hot for some reason. If you guys look, I'm like sweating. You guys can't tell probably. But yeah, I am really hot. Um, but yeah, that brings us to today's video. My top six most anticipated E3 games. Let's get this started. At number six, I put Paper Mario Color Splash. I am pretty excited about this game. Even though I don't have a Wii U, but you don't know the Wii U! Shut up! Get out of my room! Anyway, um, I may not have a Wii U, but that does not stop me from being really excited. <laughs> um, alright, so there will be a couple games that will be on the consoles I don't own, but I'm still pretty excited for. And Paper Mario Color Splash is one of those games. The game just looks really nice. I, since it's called Color Splash, you'd expect it to have a bunch of colors. Which it does, and I really like them. They look really nice. And the game looks like fun. It the color palette is amazing. It's like Wind Waker. Because Wind Waker had a great color palette. I am just really excited for it. And it looks really good. So, number six, Paper Mario Color Splash. Number five is Sonic 2017. Now I know there hasn't been a lot about Sonic 2017. But it still looks extremely good from the trailer they showed. And showed us an other hedgehog, which I got excited about. Normal Sonic! The original 1990s Sonic! Yeah, they showed the original Sonic. And I was like, is this gonna tie into Sonic Generations? Because that is one of my favorite games ever. I love Sonic Generations. I had so much fun playing it. It was one of, it's my, one of my favorite Xbox games of all time, and that's not really saying much. Sonic 2017, yeah, that's what we're calling it. It was like Breath of the Wild, so Zelda Breath of the Wild. Before we learned it was Breath of the Wild, we called it Zelda U, Zelda NX. Thank God we got that title. I'm hoping this has a title. If we have to call it Sonic 2017, like how we did with Sonic 06, it's gonna get annoying. Thankfully, 06 was terrible, so we, no one, barely barely anyone talks about it, so we don't have to worry about calling it a good name. So there's that. The graphics look stunning. They are, look amazing. It looks like it's going to be a really cool game, and it's for the NX. Yeah. Yes, yeah, NX. It's NX. It's the NX! Number four. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, I know another one of my friends is... This is his most anticipated E3 game so far. Or E3 games. That's Pizza Productions, my good friend. Check him out. He is a really good friend of mine. Uh, I say that a lot in these videos, but that was really just because we were hanging out a lot more. Um, but yeah. Number four, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I am excited for this. Even though pretty much every Pokemon game is the same, it looks really cool. Like you can, it looks like you can dance in it. So who doesn't, who doesn't like to dance? Pokemon Master, I'll catch them all. What is up with all the singing in this video? I swear. Also, the graphics look pretty similar to Pokemon. When Pokemon X started doing that. Pokemon X and Y, but they still look really nice. I love the way they look, and they're adding all these new Pokemon, which I'm pretty excited for. 
because I love Pokemon as it is, even though I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt. Crap, I don't have a Pokemon shirt. Oh no, all the Pokemon nerds are going to be so mad at me. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, moving on. Number three, it's a game that I can actually get. Well, pretty much the only game I can't get at the moment, from what you guys know right now, is Paper Mario. Because I can get Sonic, because that's coming out for the PlayStation 4, which I own. Pokemon's on the DS, which I own. Like, come on, who doesn't own a DS in 2016? Like, come on. It's like saying you don't have a house, even though people don't. Okay, that was a bad subject. You get the point. But number three, the new Spider-Man game. If you guys know me, I love Spider-Man. He is my favorite fictional character, my favorite Marvel Comics character. He's my favorite comic character. He's my favorite character in fiction. Spider-Man is awesome. He is aw I don't even know. I, I have this figure. This means something means that I'm probably mentally insane and I need some help. But Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 looks really good. Like, really. They didn't show us any gameplay. Well, from what we know, I think they showed gameplay in the trailer. Just we don't know that. But it looks really good. Like, I am excited for it because I'll be able to play it. It's probably going to be a lot of money when it comes out. But, yeah, I'm definitely getting that. So I can get my, you know, thwipping, thwipping on. Yeah, it's thwip, thwips. Get me Spooder Man. I always love to be super Man. Super Man. Swimming around. Oh, walls. Awesome acrobat. Punch people in the freaking face. <laughs> anyway, getting off subject. The graphics look amazing. I know a lot of people um, will complain. But that's not the original costume. Yeah, the costume is different in this. But it looks good. I like it. What, do I prefer the original? Yes. Yes. Yes! This is more evidence that I need some help. Amazing. We still don't know the plot, but it looks like a crap ton of fun. What? Another Sonic game. Yeah, they did two Sonic games at E3. Boom. There's the Hedgehog 3. He's coming back. Sonic is coming back. I I I'm happy that I still own this. We're going to put him right here and stare at me while I do a video. He started down more, but eh, Sonic Mania. Yeah, Sonic Mania is coming out. If you haven't heard about Sonic Mania, what are you, Patrick? Have you been living under a freaking rock? Sonic Mania is bringing it back to where the original game left off. It looks so cool. Amazing. No Shadow, even though I really like Shadow the Hedgehog. He's awesome, but still. No Amy. No one else. Sonic, Eggman, or... Actually, I like Robotnik better, but I don't know what my kids gonna do. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik. That's where they're keeping it. No shit, no ain't. <laughs> Sonic Mania looks really good. It's got that cool 16 bit classic area. A area, what? Era. There we go, we got it right. Look, and mixed with a nice modern look, because it's not all like. It looks fluid. Like, it's. Well, I'm not saying the original games look like that. That's more of a Tario look. Like, not even Super Mario Brothers for the original any of them. It was more like, brr. Like, it's not, it's fluid, but it looks like, you know how an Xbox Live Arcade 16-bit game would look like? Yeah, it looks like one of those. You guys are probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But yeah, Sonic Mania, number two, it looks great. I am so happy Sega's learning how to make a good Sonic game again. Thank God. Ease us with number one. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You guys saw this coming. You guys know how much a Zelda fan I am. I'm such a Zelda fan. I'm gonna find another shirt. Yeah. <sighs> Perfect. Ugh. Change my shirt. That's how much I love the Legend of Zelda. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, what am I doing with my life? Number one, Breath of the Wild. I did the trailer react video just to show how much I like it. So yeah, that should tell you something. I love The Legend of Zelda. It's full of great gameplay, great stories, great side quests, great music, great everything. It is my favorite game franchise ever made. It is amazing. I highly recommend checking out a Zelda game. If you're starting off, 
go with whatever you have. If you don't have any Nintendo consoles, go. If you have an Android, download an emulator and play some of the games. But yeah, Breath of the Wild looks amazing. It's kind of going back to the first game routes, where they're not telling you, okay, so you're gonna go on this adventure, and you're gonna have to get a Star and Shield. You have to go see Zelda. She's gonna, she's gonna teach you a song, and then she's gonna tell you what yeah. to do. Then uh -huh. you're gonna stop getting. Then you're gonna get a sword, a, be a better sword, and then you you do more dungeons. Sorry, can you repeat all that again? Breath of the Wild just be being like. So I, I'm sorry, I just skipped all your text. I don't know what to do. Just tell me what to do. To figure out what to do, and it looks amazing too. Because even clothing, you have to find clothing. Wait, well, you have underwear. You, you kind of start off with that like speedo thing going on. It's kind of like, hey Zelda, there's a Marshall. So what am I doing? But yeah, that was my top six most anticipated E3 games. Leave in the comments below what E3 game are you most excited for? Is it one on this list or is it one I didn't mention? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Other than that, I'm a channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.